Hi guys, and welcome back to another video tutorial on data visualization with Python. So data visualization or data viz is a cross field discipline that deals with the visual representation of data. Visual representations are powerful tools that offer the opportunity of understanding complex data and are efficient ways to represent and communicate the results results of a data analysis process in general. Through data visualizations, people can see aspects of the data that are not immediately clear. After all, if a picture is worth a thousand words, a good data, data visualization allows the reader to absorb complex concepts with the help of a simple picture. For example, data visualization can be used by data scientists during the exploratory data analysis steps in order to understand the data. Moreover, data scientists can also use data visual visualization to communicate with non-experts and explain them what is interesting about the data. And Python offers a number of tools for data visualization, for example, the Mat matplotlib library, briefly used in the machine learning uh, video tutorial in this series. So again, if you haven't installed it and you don't have Anaconda or not using Anaconda to install the library, use the, the regular command pip install matplotlib. And matplotlib produces publication uh, quality figures in a variety of formats. The philosophy behind this library is that a developer should be able to create simple plots with a small number of lines of code. Matplotlib plots uh, can be saved into different file formats, for example, portable network graphics or PNG or portable document format. Uh, PDF. So if you look at this uh, example that plots some two-dimensional data, if I run it, <coughs> and in my folder that I have specified here, I should have a file called demo underscore plot dot png that I have. So this is the output of the code. And that is shown in the following diagram. So let me just clear this out a little bit and just put it here. So al aliasing the pipe ploy to PLT, sorry, pipe plot uh, to PLT uh, is a common naming convention as uh, I have discussed in earlier tutorials. Also for other packages, the plot function takes two sequence-like parameters containing the coordinates for X and Y, respectively. In this example, these coordinates are created as the NumPy array, but they could be Python lists also. The axis function defines the visible range for the axis as we are plotting the numbers 1 to 5 squared, our range is 0 to 6 for x-axis and 0 to 30 for y-axis. And finally, the save fig function produces an image file with the output visualized in this image, guessing the image format from the file extension that we have put here. So Matt Plotlib produces excellent images for publication, but sometimes there's a need for some interactivity to allow the user to explore the data by zooming into the details of a visualization dynamically. This kind of interactivity is more in the realm of other programming languages, for example, JavaScript, especially through the popular d3.js library. that allow building interactive web-based data visualizations. While this is not the central topic for these video tutorials, it's worth mentioning that Python doesn't fall short in this domain. 
thanks to the tools that translate Python objects into the Vega grammar, a declarative format based on JSON that allows creating interactive visualizations. A particularly interesting situation where Python and JavaScript can cooperate well is the case of geographical data. Most social media platforms are accessible through mobile devices. This offers the opportunity of tracking the user's location to also include the geographical aspect of data analysis. A common data format used to encode an exchange variety of geographical data structures, such as points or polygons, is GeoJSON. And as the name suggests, it, this format is JSON-based grammar. And a popular JavaScript library for plotting interact, interactive maps is Leaflet. And the bridge between JavaScript and Python is provided by Folium, a Python library that makes it easy to visualize geographical data handled with Python via, for example, GeoJSON over a leaflet.js map. It's also worth mentioning that third-party services such as Plotly offers support for the automatic generation of data visualization, offloading the burden of creating interactive components of their services. Specifically, Plotly offers ample support for creating bespoke data visualizations using their Python client. The graphs are hosted online by Plotly and linked to a user account, which is free for public hosting, while private graphs have paid plans. So this was the uh, uh, intro to data, data visualization with Python. So we're going to look at how to how processing data in Python works uh, with the JSON format. So see you in the next video.